Hello, my name is Garrett Rochelle with iTech, and welcome to Quick Tips with Garrett. In this video, we're going to take a look at the My Profile section of Acumatica, and we're going to take a look at a couple of the useful options in there, uh, such as the ability to set up a home page, uh, to change the time zone that you're located in, to create an email signature, and a couple other useful features. So to get in there, we're going to go up into the top right, click the drop down here, and go down to My Profile. Now, we're gonna have a couple basic details in here already, such as name and email, but what we're looking for is down here, uh, if we are in a different time zone, whether it's temporarily or long-term, than what your system is defaulting to, um, then you've got the option to change the time to whatever time zone you were in, so that it's specific to you as the user. You've got the option here to change the default branch or to set a default branch so that if you are working in multiple branches, but maybe say you are spending maybe 90% of your time in a specific branch, you can set that branch as the default. That way, whenever you are transacting and moving around the system, uh, that branch is going to be the default so you don't have to change it every time. You can do the same thing with branch location, service order type, and default warehouse. Uh, for example, if I were working 90% of my time in truck 01 warehouse and then in the other times maybe uh, I'm spread out amongst the remainder of the warehouses. I could set this as my default and then only 10% of the time will I have to actually fill anything in for warehouse uh, because otherwise it will default to truck 01. Another useful feature is you see here we've got the home page option. So maybe what I want to set up here is I want to go into invoices and memos anytime that I come into the system. So that's the page I want it to take me into whenever I log in. So I would choose invoices and memos, and you'll notice there, I chose the AR3010PL for screen ID. So PL means this is the primary list. So this is going to be the dat data grid of invoices and memos. If we choose the one here with AR3010, that is going to take us into the actual transaction screen of an invoice and memo as if you are entering a new invoice and memo. So depending on what you want, uh, you can choose differently there if you need to, but I'm choosing the primary list here so that I go into the data grid listing all of the invoices and memos. Now the next thing we're going to take a look at is here on the email settings tab. It's going to take us into our email setting here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste over from Outlook the new email signature that I want in the system. So I'm showing here, uh, this is just something that I've copied over from my, my Outlook and I pasted it in here. So this is always going to be attached to any emails that I send. And additionally, you can choose over here whether it's going to be included in new emails or if it's also going to be included in replies and forwarded emails. So I'll just go ahead and check both of those and leave that there. And then the final thing that I wanna look at is on this custom locale format, you've essentially got the option to change the formatting of your date and time up here. So if I want a different, rather than the standard that I've got set, you can go down here, look at the different options and choose whatever you see fit there. Uh, so that was just a quick overview of a couple of the key features of the My Profile section in Acumatica. As always, feel free to reach out with any questions that you do have. And I wanna thank you for joining me today. Be sure to check out iTech's YouTube channel for more quick tips with Garrett. Thank you.